I have nothing to say to that. I just happened to jump down and right between the brick. And that's the end of that. Next game. <laughs> I got nothing, chat. Oh, look. Wait, we already did this before. How come we're getting the cutscene again? You know what? This is fine. This fits in for Pink Monster Week. Yep, we're still doing that. <laughs> but you know what I could do to add more fun to this? Y'all know, know the compliment thing I've been doing? This is the last day we're doing that, by the way. The 100 bits equals Amy compliment thing? We could use that as an extra life system. To whatever, to whatever the donator's choice is. If you wanted me to go back to a certain Sonic game. <laughs> Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles or CD. Give, give me the bits and I will do it. Just be sure to let me know what it is, what game you want me to retry. Not retry, I'm going to start the level from where I died. Okay, so. I, oh, there we go. I was going to say, how do we get to Amy? Here we go. That was just unfortunate luck I wound up right between the crushy blocks. The, the... Because <laughs> as you know, they're always moving. That was just bad RNG. Wait, Knuckles is playable? Oh, I did see that. Hey, and Bunny, is it free this game? No, this game is... $30? $10 extra if you want the... The Origins Plus expansion. The expansion costs $10 extra, on top of what you already paid for the collection. Wait a minute, I'm, in, I'm the American version. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it for American, that's fine. We got Sonic Boom playing, that's fine. He couldn't wait to play. I did not kill myself on purpose on that level to get the Sonic CD. No, it would be ironic if I did. I'm loving the remaster. Yeah, if this was the Japanese version, I'd be playing uh, 2 Sonic Warrior. You know me, I can never get tired of this. I've seen this intro at least 500 times in my lifetime, and I'll see it 500 more by the time I'm done. I like how it's showing Sonic doing all this stuff, by the way. It would have been really, really cool if they had reanimated the whole opening with Amy. Maybe not doing all the crazy parkour stuff that Sonic does, but like, we'll call this like the prequel. What was Amy doing before Sonic arrived on Little Planet? And uh, here it is. Now the question is, do I want to go for the Time Stone run or the Past run? You already know the answer to this question. The Past is easier, so we're going to do the Past. Or I could just... I could just let this be a normal run, so we could just get through the game. We still got Game Gear games to go through. Are the Amy sprites different across the games, or is it... It's one sprite. From what I can tell, it's all one sprite. Like, this is the exact same sprite that was in 1, 2, and 3. What's up, Metal? Boom, and... You vote normal run? Yeah, let's go normal run. If I happen to get to the pass, then I get to the pass. But I'm not gonna sweat if I don't. This will just be a normal run, then. Oh my god, it's, it's doing that thing again that you guys can't hear. The audio gets chippy during the victory screen. But you guys, I remember this last time I was complaining about it and y'all couldn't hear it. They still didn't fix that, huh? Hmm. Okay. The spin dash is not as powerful as Sonic, though. I feel like I'm going nuts right now. Only you can hear it because you know Sonic's. I guess so. It's only during the victory screen, too. That's the weird part. Like, the audio sounds fine until you get to the victory part, then all of a sudden it starts, like... It's weird. I wish other people could hear it. There we go. Well, actually, again, I'm not trying to go through the past. This is all just muscle memory. Okay, don't wind up on a wall. Good. There, that was easy. Watch this be the perfect Sonic CD run. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Can you make this a speed run? Oh, wait, there's metal. We don't even need him, but we're gonna take it anyway. 
You thought it was Eggman, but it was me. I vote that you Sonic Boom through every level. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? You mean like playing Sonic Boom, the, the, the music? You can't do that. Alright, good future secured for Zone 1. I'm sorry, Act... Blah, blah. No, wait, wait, it is... Why don't they call it Axe in this game? That's strange. Anyway, good future. Beautiful, colorful, animals all over the place. Lovely. Let's get out of here. You know Sonic... No, I don't know Sonic Boom. I know the show. We're not talking about that. Sonic, Zones, Axe, and Quacks. We're not playing Sonic 4. Eggman in his lovely pink machine. And you play the game like the opening, parkour and all. Shh, hang on. It's for, it's for like a brief moment. Anyway. Oh wait, so what happens here? I guess Amy's not here? Yeah, she's not here. That would be funny if uh, Amy was here to get kidnapped anyway. We can't lose here because we're actually like, we meld with the color palette of this world. Okay, let's get rid of that future. I'm sorry, I'm not really going to talk much because I just, it's been a minute since I've played with the US soundtrack and I'm by a minute, I mean like a week. I just want to take the music in for a second. We've made an alternate time. We did. So, like, maybe in this timeline, Sonic's the one that got kidnapped, right? If we get to the end of the Metal Sonic race, will, will Sonic be there? Because that'd be sick. Yeah, this is something... Hang on, it's doing that It's doing that thing again, chat. It's this level, too. The first level didn't have it, this level has it. Weird. Okay, I can't help myself. Oh, I have the future ruined it. Never mind. I was going to try to go back to the past, but uh, the future sign said no. Is there ever any reason to go to the future? No. No. Really, honestly, what the future signs are for is to get to the present. If you're, if you're in the past. I don't know why you want to... Actually, now you bring that up, I have no idea why you want to go to the future. There's no objective there. Other than maybe just to see what the future version of the zone looks like. We could try all future run. Just to show y'all what the, the alternate timelines of these things look like. It, lo it, it does look cool. But more often than not, if you go to the future, you're getting the bad future every time because you didn't do the objective to free the past. So, yeah. you'll just, I don't know. That is probably the best question I've ever heard, D. Matthew, uh, for Sonic CD. You made me think for a little bit, which is something I don't do while I play this game because I have it memorized like the back of my hand. What's up, Rock? How you doing? The best entry next to three, three and Knuckles. I, you know what? Since you said next to three and Knuckles, I will say that. I will allow you to say that. If you had said below, I would have had to have had a fist fight with you. Sonic 2 is my personal favorite. It's fun. Everybody has a favorite. You know, everybody has different taste. That is absolutely fine. CD is my favorite 2D. This man speaks. He speaks words that I understand. Okay, hang on. This is actually weird for me just to just run through the stages like this. It feels off. Like, I don't think I even have the, the present layout of the levels memorized. So this just feels odd. I'm trying to memorize, like, what's the routes to go. I'm kind of winging it right now. I'm making it look easy. I need five more rings. 
to get that time stone. Is there a time stone? Is there five more rings somewhere? Come on. Nope. We're done, chat. We failed. No time stones for us. Damn. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Okay, we got a second chance. Where can I get five rings? Okay, chat, what's your least favorite of the classic games, then? Everybody's gonna say one. I know they're gonna say one. There's some rings right there. Oh, God! Three more. Oh, okay. Someone said 3D Blast. We'll say of the original trilogy, then. Between 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles... And CD. Yes, I know that's not a trilogy if you count CD, but let's be real. CD is... Really, CD is 2.5. It's its own thing. Ooh. Got nervous there. Alright, there we go. Time stone time. I'm doing a mix of everything. If I happen to get 50 rings, we're going for the time stone. If we happen to get to the past, good future. The OG Classic Trilogy will always be legendary, but CD is legend in its own right. See, look at, look at all these words for these praise. Sonic 4, you, get out of here, good sir. Howie, you're, you're, you're banned. I'm not even going to take that in jest. Okay, hang on. First one's always easy. I say clipping through the first UFO. Oh, well, I just realized something. I'm playing as Amy in this. I'm like so just in my own Sonic CD zone. I, I didn't even realize I was playing as Amy. They actually did a whole 3D sprite for her. That's... Adorable. Uh-oh. Right in the water. So something happened to me yesterday. I killed Amy while I warped. Apparently you can warp while you're dead. How? How did that happen? Like a timeout? Because you lose all momentum when you get hit. I'd assume you'd die. How did, how, okay, I, I gotta know how that happens, because you're invincible when you're time-traveling. Are you talking about in this game, Sunrose? Alright, bad future, that's fine. Check out the smog chat. I activated the warp, got squished by the elevator, and warped my death. What? Okay, crush, okay, if you, if you... If it was a crush death, then that's that's doable. Because I was going to say, you're sparkling before you actually, like, teleport. So an enemy can't kill you while you're, uh, while you're running with the sparkles behind you. But you could absolutely, truly get crushed. Okay, I can... Hang on, let me focus real quick. This boss... Hate pinball. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. There we go. A moment before you transition. That's funny. So, like, was she in the death pose during the teleportation, or did it still do the animation, but then as soon as you got there, you died? Because I've had it, I've only had the Christian Whitehead version glitch on me once. Hang on. Let me enjoy the music for a second. Uh, it's, it's one of my, hang on, my mic is... It's one of my more infamous clips from my old channel, where, um, I teleported into a wall. Like, the transition happened, and I guess I loaded inside of a wall, and I couldn't do anything. I just died. Or I, I didn't die. I just was trapped in limbo. Still one of my favorite stages in this game. U.S. version. I think one of us clipped that. Yeah. It's still there, that clip. The drowning sound is off. It's higher pitched. Okay, so like I said, just normal run through. I have to ignore all my inhibitions to do the past, but there's a past sign back here. Future sign I meant. That's what I meant, chat. Ow. And stop. Time stones, though? Well, we're not getting a time stone now. We just ran out of all our rings. 
I'm waiting for an artist to finish my commission. What'd you commission? Oh, okay. yeah. Mm. Let me just get some bubbles here. Try not to hit that future sign. Make sure it's not AI art. Oh, yeah, AI art is a thing right now. It's kind of... Was that a loop? Hold up, was that a loop? That was a weird loop. There we go, back to the past. Oh wait, the machine's over here. What am I doing? While we're here, just get it. Perfect. Oh, speaking of AI art, you're the you're the scumbaggery that Marvel just did. They apparently Well, actually, hmm. I don't know if it's scumbaggery as much as like, why would they do that? They got they did they did like for the Secret Wars show they're doing, they apparently had like AI do the ending or something like that for them. And I'm like, uh oh, is the first step. It all begins with the first AI art thing. Yeah, Secret Invasion, they apparently... I, well, I looked at chat and I got smacked. Uh, they apparently did, like, AI art for the cre end credit scene for that thing. Great. Only a matter of time before movie studios start actually just using it for everything. Is that a clip? Smash to the future. I gotta look at this. Right after I get done with this level. We're almost out of this level. If we're just doing a straight run, levels are pretty short than this. Wait! Is it the past up there? Oh, I need the past sign. It was the intro that was it? Was the intro? I thought it was the outro. I really? We'd be friends and I'm returning your favor. Oh snap. Best girl. See, this is where it's funny how chat just comes in droves to troll me during these bits. Just because pink monsters on screen, they all come out of nowhere. The woodworks like cockroaches. With the lights off. Thank you for the thank you for the sub, by the way. That's nine months? You're on the you're on the way. To becoming a year-long Come on. A year-long sub. Take me up. There, perfect. Yeah, they pitched the, the drown music sound too high. It's like everything is slightly off in this. I'm gonna go check on it. All right, catch it a bit, Howie. Okay, let me see the let me see this clip that Sunrose put here. I want to see what this crush thing look like. Bad future secured. Let's see what this looks like. All right, pulling it up now. This this. Okay, how did you... Okay, this is going to be a funny clip. How did you wind up warping where you are right now? Let's see this clip. Uh, how do I make this bigger? Oh, I don't have my thing. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Um... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, I have never seen that before. That's that amazing. Beautiful. I need to see an instant replay on that. So you just happen. I didn't realize. For some reason, that's weird. For some reason, Amy keeps, she keeps the momentum of the teleportation. Like, Sonic and Tails, when they die, they, they loot, like, all momentum stops. Like, it cancels everything out. But for some reason, maybe it's because they programmed her in the game and, like, she doesn't function the same way the other characters do. Yeah, while she's dying, she can, she's still teleporting. Um. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. Well done, Sunrose. You... That just, that just shows, yeah, that's... That's crazy. <laughs> well, 
Learn something new every day. So Amy doesn't function the same way the other characters do. She does not lose all momentum the instant she dies. Amy continues momentum. You can't stop her. She really is a big monster. I got Origins Plus today. Did you? How are you liking it so far, Autumn? Spike the movie and said, no good future today? You could tell just by coming in and just looking at the stream, huh? Now we're not doing... Oh, wow. Okay. No, this is not a good future. This is a casual run. We're doing a casual run right now. I'm currently doing a one run run where if I die, the game changes instantly. You know, to challenge myself and because I'm super confident in my ability to beat these games in one life. Oh. Oh. Her hitbox is way smaller than it actually looks. Now, at least, hey, listen. You may think I'm defeated if I lose this game, but we still have the Game Gear games. There's like three Amy Rose games you can play on the Game Gear. Both the Sonic Drifts, and I think... There's like one more, isn't there? Hang on. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Julius? How you doing? And Ultra. Guys, we're, we're not done yet. But like I said before, if y'all want me to go back to a level, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you guys to revive Amy in one game of your choice, as well as a compliment. If you truly want to see me go back, and you have the funds for it, do it. But for this game, ah, uh, we I won't need it. This game we're oh shoot. This puts a monkey wrench in my plans because I don't know the middle route for Force Quadrant. Yep, don't know the I don't know the route for the middle. I usually always take the top. Oh, I guess we're going to the nope, never mind. I I thought we were going to the future right now. Metal Sonic race first. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. We're, well, we're gonna beat this first, obviously. I mean. I really like the music in the U.S. track. I, I do want to. I do want to see. Oh, there, there we go. I do want to see Amy beat Metal Sonic in a race. So, Ruckus, was it you that said yesterday, "Don't glide against Metal Sonic in the Sonic CD uh, Start a Speedway race"? Because I do think. Metal Sonic has rubber banding on him. So that probably causes, if you get really far ahead with the glide, he probably just speeds past you. The instant you hit that finish line. Probably teleports, in fact. I actually kind of want to see that. Because that'd be funny as hell. God dang, Amy is fast. Why is she so fast? She's going faster than Sonic normally does. Okay, now we're good, we're good. Just flat. Flat. Piece of paper flat. Thanks for the sub. Don't thank me for that sub. Thank my hat yesterday. It kept falling off my head. This hat right here. It knows what it did. Oh, with the green screen. It looks like he's got some, like, 5 o'clock shadow going on. That's funny. <laughs> Put that over there. He said it's Knuckles, yeah. I love the Japanese soundtrack for the stage. Never heard the American version. It's pretty... Okay, Quartz Quadrant has it too. It's like the first few seconds of the song. Gets ultra crispy. Like it's loading or something. Or buffering. It's strange. Past... Can we make it? No. Yeah, just trying to do a full run through and keep your momentum is actually kind of hard. Do you hold forward in the special state? Like, the special stage for here, CD? No. 
It's an auto run. You just have to direct it. Which is actually harder than it looks. Because it controls like a laggy Mario Kart car. Uh, I have a request for the boss while running on the treadmill. Run while hitting with your hammer. I could do that. No problem. It'd be funny if the hammer actually does damage to the boss. It shouldn't because the boss doesn't actually have our active hurt box on it, but we could check. I just noticed because I noticed you always go faster than me. Well, that's because I'm hitting a lot of the, um, dang it. I'm hitting a lot of speed boosters. And I believe the longer you go without touching grass, the things that I'm seeing, the longer you go without touching grass or any obstacles, you, you just fly. But that's pretty hard to do, as you can see, even I'm kind of hitting a lot of the obstacles here. There we go. But no, I don't I don't hold forward while I play it. She just runs. All the characters just run. Alright, let's see how we handle the I'm wondering if we're gonna get the time stones before we get all the Well, actually we, we screwed the good future run. We actually can't do the good future run. Because we got the bad future in Act 3 of uh, Collision Chaos, so... The only way we're getting a good future now is if we get all the time stones. The thing about the past run is you have to commit fully to it. If you're going for it. Oh, I just realized something. The coins are shared between all... All of the games. So 1, 2, and 3 all, all share the coin system for the anniversary mode. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, I didn't want to actually run underneath it. I said we'd be friends, and I'm returning your favor. Who was that? Spike the Mobian, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. No, it doesn't seem like I can get close enough. She's got a weird momentum on it. Like, there's a speed cap, and she can't get past it. She's trying, though. You made that special stage look easy? They are easy until the last two. Honestly, uh, this is probably the best version of Sonic CD to play if you want to get better at the special stages because the anniversary collection, or rather the anniversary mode allows you to replay them over and over and over again. So it'll allow you to get used to like the, uh, the way those play. Back in the day, I, I, you had to replay the game over and over and over again from scratch if you want to do the special stages. So like... That's why I can really fly through the first few stages, because, like, I played that so much as a kid, start to finish over and over and over again. I don't remember if the original Sonic CD on Windows 95 had a save feature or not. Don't recall. I don't think it did? Maybe it did. If it did, it was only one save file. But I don't think, I don't remember it having that. No problem, I, I love watching YouTube videos. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate your continued support, even on these very streams. I'm glad you enjoy the, uh, <laughs> content. Oh, snap. Yeah, I still don't like calling it what I do content. Just, man. It seems so... What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Just saying content. Windows 95 version was also on GameCube. Wait, was it? You mean you mean uh, Sonic Gems Collection? That was the 95 version. I guess that makes sense. Wolfie, have you heard of content creators getting burned out lately? Not not the ones I follow anyway. But it it wouldn't surprise me. Like what? Like are you just saying like in general most of them are? Or are you talking about specific? Oh, I almost died there. Specific ones. Okay, hang on. Let me just, let me hit the platform, please. This is why no one likes Wacky Workbench. This is the reason. Oh my God! Come on. All right. Let me just do this then. Some streamers. I I haven't heard that. I mean, it makes sense. If you do this, if you do this long enough. 
It's just, it gets tiring. This is the dream job for a lot of people, but like... A lot of... <laughs> some people don't understand, like, the, the mindset you have to have to do this kind of stuff. Like, even I wouldn't say I'm, a, I'm like a full-time content creator because, like, let's be real, I'm, I'm part-time. I'm, like, part-time at best content. Like, I don't do this seven days a week for hours on end. And even I feel tired sometimes. But, like, yeah, you just have to keep, you have to keep making stuff. And, and the fact that it, depending on whether on YouTube or Twitch, because YouTube and Twitch have their own different vices like YouTube you have to you have to constantly be on the ball with YouTube you make a couple of du oh shoot you make a couple of duds on YouTube the algorithm won't favor your videos anymore so the more clickbaity you know the more clickbaity the more people watch your videos all the way to the end engage all that stuff thumbs up comments and all that Our people always beg for that stuff uh, the more your videos get pushed to the front which means the more your videos get watched, which means higher view counts, higher subscriber counts, you get more sponsorship deals, more money coming in for you to keep making the stuff you make because YouTube money is a joke. But if you mess up or you stop making content for a little bit, that algorithm is very cruel. Then Twitch is the same way where, oh crap, you don't stream for a while, you're losing subs. <laughs> Your audience will go elsewhere, and they will find other people to watch. So, ah, it's a juggling act. And then there's not, and then you know, and then there's always the, uh, you know, I'm gonna go to the past real quick. And there's always the, uh, the constant feel of, oh, a new game is out. I want to play it, but I, I want to play it for myself. But if I play it for myself. That's, that's, I'm losing on content, you know? So you always gotta play for an audience. You can't ever just sit and enjoy a game for yourself, really. For the first time. Most of the time, you're gonna see most streamers playing the game for the first time on stream. And they always have to be, you know, you gotta be engaging your audience while you play. You can't just sit there and take the game in. You always gotta have your brain... Let me out. There we go. You always have to have your brain in constant engage mode. So yeah, it's 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 a job. But yeah, bur people burning out does not surprise me. That's why you'll often see them going like, I'm taking a break for a few weeks. Just a few weeks though. The grind is exactly it's a, it's a real grind. The pressure to always entertain folks is stressful. It is. It's a thing. Not recently, a lot of people have opted to play games they really want on their own time. Hmm. Oh? Yeah. Probably more than a handful of streamers that have figured it out. Wait, is this the boss? Oh, it is the boss. Yeah, okay. I wasn't paying attention. I've kind of turned my brain off at this point. If I don't have to focus on going to the past or getting uh, the time stones, I can just turn my brain off and just go through the game normally. Let me out. They take a break and they're called lazy. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Wolfie, thanks for the insight. No problem. Not me, though, you know. I could play Sonic CD on stream all day, every... Oh, my God. Okay, note to self. Maybe don't use the spin. What happens now? There we go. I have never fallen down there before after the the rocks come down. I mean that's the same with every job, right? You you have to eventually take a break. It's just no matter what you do. Hey, when people are impatient, welcome to the internet. Let's see Amy's dance. Back here. We now have buh, 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 two more levels, I think. Stardust is after this one, right? Yes. Wait, you can jump up. You could jump the floor. I thought you had to jump to the. 
No! You're playing it- you're playing the game on hard mode, dude. Ladies, you're making the game so much more complicated. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, oh, this is the this is the only downgrade in the uh, American version. Oh, I think I just wound up in a wall. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're good. I I've I've clipped into this wall before. It's a clip. I think the the European Japanese version of Starter Speedway is infinitely better. Can I please? Thank you. Yeah, it was this wall because I kept getting hit by that little bird thing over and over again. But the good news is, no matter which version you play, European, Japanese, or American, the past is always going to sound the same. Get it to sound. There we go. Because the past is always the same song no matter what. They programmed that in specifically. Guess who thought it would be a good idea to binge the poor kids version of Winx Club? Winx Club? I haven't heard anybody talk about that since my sister used to watch that back in the day. The Winx Club, wow. Wait. What? Hold on, I just thought of that. Is Winx Club like from France or something? Is that a European show that was dubbed here or? I actually didn't know. I thought the four kids. I thought the show was made for four kids. I I had no idea that was actually its own thing. What if I get a mix and match of like <laughs> good future, not good future? Which has been all the place. Four kids, Nickelodeon, and the live action. There's a live action version of that show. Why? Speaking of live action, Chad, did you guys see the live action One Piece trailer yet? It's an Italian show. I did not know that. Huh. I thought that was an American show for the longest time. Do you think the time travel is based on Back to the Future? No. It's just time travel. You know, Sonic City invented time travel in video games. It's true. Look it up. Oh, there's Metal Sonic. Let me get him. It doesn't change anything, but I just want to. I just want to smash Metal Sonic's machine real quick. Dang it. That's fine. He can get away for now. Come on. Dang it! I went right in there. You know what? I don't even care about Metal Sonic anymore. There we go. Are you gonna play the new Frontiers update? Yeah. I, I wanna I wanna play Sonic Origins Plus first. Ma maybe later. Hang on, are these the supersonic flickies all over the place I'm seeing? That thing will be weird if Luffy's powers. That's my that's my main thing with uh, the One Piece live action thing. How are they gonna animate like Luffy's powers, right? Cause Luffy is a rubber man. And the cost to animate somebody doing rubber stretching and, and making it look good, because let's face it, anybody could do that, but making the, the any shot with that kind of CG and a TV show budget look good is going to be very expensive. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> Luffy throws like 100,000 stretchy punches per episode, so... What's the budget going to be like on that show? Is he going to throw even one punch? Also, isn't One Piece subjectively ugly like the humans in that are super stylized and like <laughs> they don't look they don't look human sir like how are they gonna get how, how are they gonna make them look right like I, I've seen some characters or villains whatever you want to say in that show that I'm like I don't know how they're gonna translate that into live action okay come on Amy it's time to defeat your nemesis Ow, all right. And this is some, and I speak clearly as somebody. Ah, dang it, I'm being murky. Someone on the outside looking in because I know very little of One Piece. 
I've maybe seen a couple of the episodes of... No, do you mind? I've only seen a couple of the episodes of the four kids dub. You know, back with the rap and whatnot. But I've never actually seen, like, anything past... Whenever... God dang! Okay, chill like man. I've never seen anything past, like... Why are you rubber bending so hard with Amy? Dang, Metal. Are we at the end? Did I still glitch it? Oh, they fixed it with Amy. You, you, they, they fixed it. No more transition glitch. Well, chat. We saved ourselves. No Sonic necessary. It depends on the person. The art style is acquired. That's why I said subjectively it's ugly. I wonder if Luffy's gonna say his attack name every fight. Like, I, there, I suppose there's a couple of characters that's gonna be easy to do in live action. Like, Usopp's gonna be easy. He's just the guy that shoots things with a, with a rubber band and a, and, a stri and a stick. But like, <clears throat> there's like a little reindeer guy. Uh, are they gonna be able to afford to animate that character in every episode? Netflix is notorious for, like, canceling shows very quick. Ah, oh, crap. The Luffy in the trailer made that joke? Wait, what? What joke? He said heroes always say their attacks and Zoro said nothing. Oh, okay. Look, chat, they're self-aware. Oh, I almost got the fast. Chopper? Chopper? Is that, is that the reindeer's name? Ooh. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Is, is reindeer is Chopper the reindeer's name? Unless they just have a kid playing him with a little reindeer antler hat or something, which would be really funny. Like we took a creative liberty with uh with reindeer boy. <laughs> Hi. How far and how far are they gonna go? There's like two thousand episodes of the of the anime. Like what, what, okay. What arcs are they gonna do with that show? I don't know any of the arcs. The, I, the only arc, like I said, I, I watched the four kids one. I saw the one with uh, uh, the orange haired girl. Um, hang on, let me do the rap in my head so I know the character's name. Her name, his name's Alo, he's like a samurai, L-A-D-Y, Nami. Nami! Nami, uh, was with the shark guy? That's about as far as I saw in that show. That's probably like season two or one. Oh my god, don't die. I almost got crushed. Okay, we're good. I think up to the grand line. Chopper is the reindeer, Chopper is the mascot. Oh. Chopper seems fine. <laughs> Let's hope they never do a live action Naruto. The joke's on you. They've are they've already confirmed they're working on that. They're doing a live action everything, chat. Whatever your favorite anime is, they're doing a live action version of it right now as we speak. They just haven't announced it yet. Besides, it's not it's they always do live action stuff, especially in Japan, they already have live action versions of all the animes anyway. Okay, watch out. Oh, look at this. I told you guys we'd get through this game without dying once. This is my game. As long as it's not on Netflix, I don't mind. I've heard that the, even the Japanese live-action shows are pretty bad, are pretty damn bad. Like, there's just some things you just can't translate to live-action well. You know, what are some, like, there's some really good animes you probably could adapt to, uh, live-action really well. I'm trying to think of something that's just really grounded. That's, like, 
plausible in, in our universe, in our world. Or just doesn't have a lot of crazy stuff in it. Maybe... Full Metal would be kind of crazy to do. You could you could do Full, full Metal Alchemist pretty easy. With a, with a modest budget. The only thing that would probably cost a lot of money is like... Animating Alphonse. Yakuza? Yaku yeah, Yakuza. <laughs> you could do a, a live action Yakuza easy. It's in fact, I'm shocked with how popular Zero was over here that Sega didn't go ahead and like get a movie license deal done or something or a Netflix show done. That would be easy. There's no crazy like weirdo monster creatures. There's no. All you'd have to do is find an actor that looks like Kiryu who can punch people really, really hard and make it look believable. And also a lot of drama. Yeah, that Yakuza could work, absolutely. Oh, yeah, look at this little tiny sprite, Amy. Someone had to animate this. Oh, I know about the live-action Yakuza movie. I've seen it. Well, I no, no, I haven't seen... I've seen it, but I have not seen it. I know it exists, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you'll, you, you wanna, you wanna translate something that... I'm gonna get crushed, Chad. I'm gonna get crushed, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it after this. There we go. And just like that? Was that Act 2 or Act 1? Again, I turned my brain... Okay, we're at the boss. We're almost done! How long has it been? An hour? Okay, that's about right. For a typical run. They haven't done a live-action Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Might, might be a little hard because wouldn't they have to animate the monsters? From the cards and whatnot? It, it, it'd probably be... Yeah, you could probably do that easy. The costume would have to be on point, though, because Yuji looks damn weird with his haircut. Okay, this is the part where everything can go wrong right here. RNG. There we go. Okay, no problem. No deaths here, chat. We are good. That's the hard part, is getting through that part. Y yami, I meant to say. You, you know what I meant. Oh, this is way easier of Amy. Holy crap. It's not even a thing. I don't know. I'm thinking something like, you know, Samurai Shampoo would be easy, too. Wait, can I hit him from here? I probably can with that extended hammer hitbox. Yeah, like, shows you'd honestly want to avoid, or, like, shows, like... Can I hit you? Oh, he doesn't have a hitbox until it, until it's... Yeah, okay. Until he's in his hurtbox mode, you can't actually hit him. They, they programmed Eggman so you can't cheese him. Like, I can't hit him until he's ready to be hit. You have to have a crazy guy to play Mugen? Or somebody who's really flexible. Come on. So is Amy gonna run from the side and try to... Nope, she's still programmed to do Sonic's movement. That's funny, though. There you go, chat. And that's how to defeat Sonic CD with one life. The only game I was able to beat on one life, wouldn't you know it. No surprise. All right, chat. Mark that, that is like the 89th time we have beaten this game on stream. Yeah, we get the bad ending version though. So this is the first, I think it's the first time we've gotten the bad ending version of this song. An ending. Sonic's like, I need mean, to... Yeah. That's the bad ending version. 
89 if I lose my mind? Well, see, Roxas, just imagine playing your favorite Sonic game, or your favorite game in general. If it's, if you're crazy like me, you really like something, you can do it over and over and over again. But there's like, maybe eight games off the top of my head I can think of that I can play over and over again and not get tired of it. This is one of them. Such a coincidence that this is the only one. I know, right? Why is it playing so fast? I have no idea. I think it's because, like... Are you used to the Windows 95 version? That version ran super slow. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the credits are, like, speeding. I love this version of the song. So this is going to be the loop version too, yeah? Now to work on... Yeah, this is... Ironically enough, this is not a Yuji Naka Sonic game. This is one of the only classic Sonic games that does not have Yuji Naka's hands on it. Now to made this while Yuji Naka was in America making Sonic 2. That, that would explain why this game is so weird. Let's see how Naoto does in uh, Sonic Superstars, which I am now going to dub CD2 until it proves if it's good or bad. If it's good, I'm going to call it Sonic CD2. If it's bad, I'm going to call it Sonic Superstars. I mean, think about it. People are apparently tweeting to me that the... The jewel we saw in the trailer for Sonic Superstars was a time stone. I'm like, was it a time stone? I couldn't get a good look at it. Because if it's a time stone, that would mean it's CD2. But I don't think that game takes place on Little Planet 2. They said it takes place on North Star Island. Weird. Yeah, the credits flew. It didn't even get to the loop. There's the bad end. It didn't do the laugh thing. That was weird. Yeah, if you don't you don't save Little Planet, Little Planet comes. Hey, don't show the cutscene. I didn't save Little Planet. So I was like, well, my job here is done. Save Little Planet. It totally didn't warp back. Because I didn't get all the time stones slash save the future. There's no sound in the cutscene in Origins. I guess they took that out then. Hey, what's up, 50 Rings? Good name. See you next game. Speaking of next game, you know what our next game's gonna be? A Game Gear game. 